Hi folks, how are you? I'm just going to do a little weekend video here, it's Sunday, May the 17th. And I'm going to take care of a few things in this video, but we're going to do a bit of a market rundown, first of all. And I'm going to go over some psychology aspects that I've been studying in regards to trading, in regards to herd psychology, crowd psychology, and basically what makes us tick. Why trends occur in the markets. And basically, yeah, so I'm trying to understand this stuff from a deeper perspective as to why people go in and make certain decisions as to what makes us tick when we look at a price chart what are we thinking so i actually did a little experiment with a close friend of mine yesterday and I, and they don't know anything about trading or stock market but they can see that by looking at a price chart they can make an impulsive decision right so if i show you this price chart right here you can say okay would i buy this or would i sell this so that's what i'm trying to get after here is what's the general crowd perspective of when people look at price charts and obviously as a smart money trader you want to be able to identify what the crowd psychology is and potentially position yourself for where that opportunity is and that's what these smart institutions are doing okay they weren't born yesterday they've been in this business for a long time and they're simple they have one goal and it's to make money right so if these guys are trying to make money we need to understand what they're thinking about when it comes to these markets okay they're they're not just like buying or selling randomly they're not buying into fomo you know they're they're orchestrating these whole things and the psychology that occurs from these patterns is what's so important, okay? So when you look at a price chart, you need to be able to see it that you're looking at prices moving, but what you're really looking at is a psychological pattern of price moves and how people are perceiving this, okay? So look at this chart and let's just do a little replay here. So this is Roku, August going into September of 2019. So you can see here, this is after earnings. Now let's take a look at this price action. You can see that so far, every candle is making a higher low. So every close has a higher low. And there's volume. Look at this. Every single candle has a higher close. So it doesn't make sense to sell this. But if you show this chart to a random person or to an average trader, they will say, I want to sell that because it's too high. Look, it's just been going higher and higher and higher. And it's just too extended, right? It's just absolutely too extended. So the average trader would take a short there. Now look at this, even more extended, more bull right there, a nice bull candle closing on its high, and then another nice bull candle closing on its high, squeezing shorts. So anybody who decided to sell while it was going higher is underwater. And that's the psychology of trends right there. And that's what I'm trying to understand. So look at this right here. So we have two big bull days, followed by an inside bar, and followed by another green candle closing near its high, but not a lot of volume associated with it. Let's see what happens next. Okay, now at this point we have a gap up open and the close is much lower and we have big volume associated with it. So that could signal a temporary top being set. And in fact, that is what happened. The next day we gap down with another massive sell here. So again, we're understanding the psychology of this. So we did break this pattern here and we caught up with these moving averages finally. But let's look at what happened after that to see if the market caught any support. And look at that. We have about six days in a row of an inside bar. And then we have another massive sell here, okay? So we got the bulls trying to be optimistic to buy the dip here. And when everybody was trying to buy the dip, thinking, oh, this is going to catch support. We had two big red days in a row. They just smash you again and take all your money with that. Oh, my goodness, right? Boom, boom, two days, and it's just like it's all over, right? So it gave back like a, a solid month's worth of gains in a couple of weeks here. So, you know, the psychology of patterns, guys, that's what I'm trying to dig deep into here when it comes to trading and is it why is it that when a market is in an uptrend it's more likely to continue higher and why is it that when a market is in a downtrend it's more likely to continue lower why is it in our human nature to want to sell when we see something at a high price and why is it in our human nature to want to buy when we see something at a low price that's what i'm trying to dig deep into here so let's take a look at this price chart so this roku chart is a lot of interesting stuff so you can see here finally starting to try to buy the dip and we have a bit of a relief rally here, a bit of an uptrend starting to form. And then we gap down on earnings. Now, this one is really, really interesting. So check this one out right here. We had the gap down on earnings, an inside bar the following day, followed by a bull. Okay. Now look at this bull right here. One, two, three, four, five, six green days in a row with a higher close every single day. We're literally coming up to the highs of the rally again. And then once the pattern was lost, you can see that we had trouble moving higher and then we had a massive gap down open. But this kind of stuff right here, guys, this is unbelievable. People will buy into these things, these rallies, and it's just, 
it's just a fluster of emotions basically after this massive bull like there's so much hype associated with this name up until this point we had this rally this rally this rally and then we have this slow decline here we're slowly declining lower prices people are slowly buying the dip and then as it moves higher well all those dip buyers are going to eventually get trapped anyhow it's just psychology of markets guys so so we're going to look at the nasdaq the s p's and the russell and a few big tech sector names so let's just look at some of these names here so you can see the nasdaq is in a clear daily uptrend we have these daily higher lows that have formed so in my opinion there's no reason to sell this until one of these higher lows are lost okay now you can see that there's a lot of volume associated with these price moves that had occurred at the end of last week so it makes sense that we could try and push higher but if we see no follow through it makes sense also that dip buyers here would be trapped if we would push below or here and try to test these higher lows that had formed okay same thing with the spx the spx is a little bit weaker than the nasdaq and you can see that we actually did lose the daily higher low so now we're actually looking for some sort of lower high to form as long as we remain above this price 2779.2 the bulls remain in full control in the daily time frame in my opinion although we did lose the daily uptrend so we could expect a lower high and maybe a lower low but bulls are still in control as long as they hold that daily higher low bulls are still in control so there's no reason to come in here and start short in these markets just because you think it's extended all right same thing with the russell the russell's a little bit weaker as you can see a clear daily uptrend so low lower high and lower low and now we're looking for another lower high here to see if this downtrend will continue or not again we're above our daily higher low that we had broken below so if we hold that level from here the bulls could remain in control and squeeze out some sellers that had probably entered on this lower high looking at some of the big tech sector names here looking at apple apple starting to catch a little bit of a sell but this recovery is amazing you can see that we're practically near all-time highs again okay a lot of names look like this now look at a chart like natural gas so again let's let's understand let's try and approach this from a psychological perspective if you see this chart randomly would you say buy it or sell it okay I guarantee you that the majority of average people looking at this chart will say I'm gonna buy it because it's so low right it has to come back up but not necessarily. If you look at the daily chart, you can see that we're in a daily downtrend to some extent. We're making higher highs with no follow through, and now we made a lower low, losing these daily higher lows here. So there's liquidity here that's trapped, and I think that it's likely that we could continue to see lower prices as long as these higher highs keep getting no follow through and we keep losing them, right? So in my opinion, the trend is gonna be your friend in a lot of times. Now what I'm trying to understand, again, I'll say it, is why trends happen and what makes us tick to make us think that when we see a big bull green candle like this, why do we want to sell it instead of buy it? Yeah, so if you know if you know about this stuff, guys, feel free to comment and uh, let's talk because this is some really interesting and deep psychological stuff. And I honestly think that if you can truly uh, develop an understanding for the reason why trends occur and crowd and herd psychology, you can give yourself an edge in these markets because the big players out there that's what they're looking at they're seeing all this retail money coming in opening up new accounts with any retail broker and you know putting in money buying stocks buying options yolo buying calls and puts and all this stuff these guys can see that you know their goal is to make money so unfortunately if the money that's being coming in is dumb money that's the money they're using to make their money so that's just how it is here so nvidia wow Beautiful bull. Netflix, another beautiful bull, right? There's no reason to sell this at this point. Yes, maybe you could say we're overextended, but at the same time, we're in a daily uptrend, we're in a weekly uptrend. There's no reason to sell this market at all. Yet people consistently are saying that it's overvalued and you need to sell it, but it's in an uptrend. Why would you sell it, okay? Shop, this is another one. This one, I'm sure a lot of people are getting hit hard on this one, trying to short it. So you can see, massive bull consolidation people are trying to sell into this thing and then massive bull and we're continuing higher so as long as we hold these higher lows on this hourly time frame you know there's no reason to sell this thing look at that how many people do you think are short this thing right now probably a lot how many people do you think were short this thing over here how many people were shorted here they all got squeezed how many people were shorting it here getting squeezed you know, so that's the kind of psychology that drives markets. And absolutely, it looks like some sort of a wedge on this daily time frame. We're very extended from our moving averages. But at the same time, there's no reason to sell it until you actually see the selling coming in on the tape. Tesla, this is another great example. 
look at this madness right here. So massive daily uptrend extended from the moving averages, right? How many days in a row? Probably like five, six green days in a row. Another green day in a row. A little bit of consolidation catching the moving average. Now watch how it reacts here. The sell volume is higher than the bull volume here, but we didn't move considerably lower, meaning that if people sold here and it moves above, then they're going to be underwater. And that's just how it's going to work. So you can see that we had a squeeze day, another day inside bar, and then we continue to squeeze and look at how aggressively this price just kept moving higher. Unbelievable. Anybody trying to sell it here or here or here is just getting shit housed, unfortunately. So look at this, boom. So that's what you call a massive short squeeze. Now this right here, guys, is how people blow up entire savings accounts. This is how people blow up millions and millions of dollars and throw it into thin air and give it to those who are more patient. I think it's important as a trader to be able to understand these psychological patterns that occur over and over and over again in these markets, because once you can understand the psychology that drives these things to happen, then like I said, that's going to give you some sort of an edge. The crazy part is that it's in us all. It's like in our programming to want to respond a certain way when we see a price chart and we see a price move. It's in our natural programming. So I'm reading this book right now. This is a good book. I recommend it and it will help you learn more about your mind and how it's in our natural programming to make impulsive decisions when we think about certain things. That's it. So you can see like once it really, really, really topped out there, then that was our temporary top for a while. But after that, we did in fact come up for another time and it was like, okay, here we go around two again, you know, Tesla's going at 3000 and then obviously not. And then we pull back pretty immensely after that. You know, once everybody's been like, why was everybody trying to short it here when the hype was immense? And then once everybody lost all their money shorting it, everybody gave up on shorting it. And then the real opportunity came to sell it because then it had dropped from 900 to 350. So crazy, absolutely in daily uptrend, anticipating some sort of a weekly lower high to form. But you know, at this rate guys, so bottom line here, looking at this chart, again, the NASDAQ just continues to be a beautiful recovery. And there's still so many fundamental bears. If you look, all it takes is to look at a YouTube feed and you're gonna see how many people are saying, stock market bear going to double bottom this and that look at stock to it look at any social media platform and you're gonna see people talking about all these different reasons about why the stock market is rigged obviously it's rigged and and how we're gonna go to double bottom and you know all this stuff and while people continue to live in denial this daily uptrend is probably just going to continue and sooner or later we'll be at all-time highs and then the higher we go the more people will live in denial about it causing even more volatile price moves to occur against the direction of the herd psychology. So guys, this is the journey that I'm on right now when it comes to understanding crowd psychology. So if you learn something from this video, give it a thumbs up and consider supporting the channel. Guys, I love you so much. Thanks for supporting the channel. Take care, bye.